Welcome back to The Check-In. My name is Jared, and today I'm joined by Vishnu, who is the head of global logistics at Compass, and we are going to answer one super simple question. How will the port strike impact Bitcoin mining? So, Vish, welcome to The Check-In. Could you go ahead and dive in and actually focus on how the port strike may affect Compass's operations? Yeah. Hey, Jared. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, I know we've been trying to do this for a while, so happy we can connect on this. Um, yeah, so the port strike will have no direct impact in Compass's uh, supply chain operations as of right now. Uh, Compass, uh, for your knowledge and for everyone else's knowledge, most of our product that we move into the U.S. is via air freight. Um, everything we move in is from ASICs to ASIC parts. Um, we move infrastructure as well, so transformers, switchgears, and containers and data center containers. Um, those things will be affected. So um, a lot of the infrastructure side of Bitcoin mining will slowly be affected by this. And the main reason is that most of it is moved by sea. Um, for Compass's current operations, we won't see much of a slowdown. Most of our machines that we purchase from overseas get shipped via air. Most of the parts that we ship is shipped via air as well. So we won't see a direct impact into us. That being said, there will be a lot of indirect impacts to Compass and to the mining industry as a whole. For Compass's side, right, we may see um, an increase in one freight cost, um, freight cost being shipping via air. So, and the reason that may be happening is that a lot of organizations are going to be looking for different alternatives when they can't ship via ocean. They're going to look at air freight, see if they can get on the that being said, that's going to make air freight one tighter on space, right? It's going to become busier. Um, most likely the cost will go up from there as well. Um, another part of this that is once again, indirectly affecting compass as well as the mining industry as a whole, you know, I think from what I read yesterday and it was around 24 hours since the port trek started yesterday, um, there's around 45 shipping vessels currently waiting in the ports um, on the east side, those ships will most likely move, right? They're not going to sit there and wait for product and wait for perishable goods to go bad. They're going to figure out a way to unload those ships. One of the ways they're looking at is moving a lot of those ships to the east coast. I mean, to the west coast, I apologize, the west coast. That being said, from the west coast, transportation is going to be going up drastically from the trucking side. Trucking and rail side will go up as a lot of that product has to move from the West Coast to the East Coast. Um, we're also gonna see a lot of these ships go into Canada and work their way down from Canada into the US, right? That's not the most ideal situation as you're gonna be paying duties and tariffs in Canada as well as in the US, right? So a lot of ships are not gonna pick that solution, um, but it may change. That's an amazing overview of how it will both directly and indirectly impact Compass. So if our clients, customers, partners are listening, they can understand there. We're hearing it from the head of Global Logistics. I'm going to throw an image up on the screen, and this is an image I shared with you. It says, port strike that could stretch from Boston to Texas. Now, one thing to call out is that this actually extends more north than Boston. It goes up into Maine. But there you can see all the ports that are impacted. And so as ships potentially move over to the West Coast, indirectly, as Vishnu just said here, it's interesting to think about that the ground and the train could... Uh, train like the rail excuse me i think that's the words you used could actually increase that's kind of fascinating to think about and obviously the air freight could go up as people scramble to say okay how can we get stuff into the country not just within the bitcoin mining industry but any industry which would drive up the demand and then drive up the price of those uh you know methods of of moving stuff around the world yeah. any thoughts on how this is gonna you've kind of touched upon it but any thoughts on how this is going to impact the overall bitcoin mining industry stateside yeah, I mean, absolutely. So, you know, one, this is for everyone's knowledge, right? That image that Jared put up, um, this is affecting 36 ports on the east, eastern side of the U.S., right? Going from Maine all the way down to Texas, you're looking at 2,500 uh, dock workers, union dock workers that are currently on strike. So once again, we hope that this gets resolved soon. We hope that this gets resolved uh, hopefully this week. Um, as Jared mentioned, maybe, but like 
We're recording this on um, October 3rd, right? We hope by the end of the week, this will be resolved. Um, so for the, your question is that it won't directly affect the mining industry now, right? A lot of the stuff, as I mentioned, that we move uh, via C is um, a lot of infrastructure. So we won't see a direct impact in that sense. Um, a lot of infrastructure can be purchased here in the US. There's different alternative routes they can take, right? But if this extends, you know, two, three, maybe four weeks, then we will start seeing a lot more impacts directly to a lot of infrastructure build outs that are currently going on in the US and in Canada as well, right? A lot of um, organizations source a lot of their materials, product from overseas and ship a lot of it because of it can't fit in the air freight or other reasons why, right? It's also cheaper to ship C. So directly right now, I don't think we're gonna see a huge impact in the mining industry. As we go forward, if this doesn't get resolved with the ILA, um, then there's a potential that we're gonna see it across the board, um, some different solutions coming to the mind. Thanks so much for taking the time today, Vishnu, because I think this is really important to hear from our global head of logistics. We as Bitcoin miners, sometimes we can be lost in our own little echo chamber where the only macro thing that will impact us is the Bitcoin price. But as we know, the Bitcoin price is then tied to the rest of the macro environment, right? If there's going to be continued escalation of war in the Middle East, that may see Bitcoin price maybe not do what we want to do. If there's going to be a port strike on the eastern seaboard that hopefully continues or hopefully, excuse me, doesn't continue past tomorrow, October 4th, hopefully they can come to an agreement that could slowly start to impact Bitcoin. Bitcoin mining and our operations and, you know, maybe even impact hash price on some level just due to how much hash is actually happening here in the United States. So I want to thank you for coming on and kind of sharing your thoughts, because I think it's important for our customers, clients and partners to hear directly from you and from Compass to say, hey, this is how it may affect and this is how it may not affect. Let's keep an eye on it, though, so we're not surprised as we see it develop or not develop. Ideally, it doesn't develop. Ideally, they come to an agreement, but I think it's really important for us to look outside the eco chamber of Bitcoin mining to see the other things that may impact our industry. So anyways, Vish, thanks for taking the time today.